we have a site here defined by property lines. Use detail lines to define the limit of our topo. Reference the detail lines to Dynamo. Set Dynamo to run automatically. Switch on preview for points. These are the points that we're going to push to rave it for topo solid. They're sort of flat now. Let's morph them to a rolling terrain. Manipulate the point's Z coordinates with sliders. To better visualize the form that we're going to send to Revit, let's switch off preview for boundary. Switch on preview for ISO lines on both directions. And switch on preview for surface. Increase number of segments for smoother curvatures. Higher number of segment means more points to calculate. Hence, it takes longer to complete morphing. Note the ISO lines and surface are meant to visualize the points in Dynamo only. They are not needed in the forming of Topo in Revit. Let's push the points to Revit. Set execution to manual. We're going to use a node called Topography by Points. Hit Run to execute graph. Notice that this is under Category Topography. We need to convert this to Topo Solid for version 2024 or later.